Let's just take a quick moment to look at how we can link tasks together. I'm going to enter some tasks here. Doesn't matter what the names are. And you can follow along if you'd like. I'm going to enter duration. Let's just say five days for each to start out with. And let's consider that this might be a case where I want to simply link these sequentially. There are several different ways that I can do this. I can come over here to the predecessor column and I can enter the ID number. That's the only value that can really go in here of these various tasks and it will link them together for me. I'm going to come over here and zoom out a bit so I can actually see what that looks like. Now there's several other ways that I can do this. I can also come to each individual task and if I double click on uh, a task or that row that the task ID um, is representing, I can come over here to the predecessors tab and from there I can actually select the various um, predecessors that this particular task might have. That can be valuable if uh, you have a lot of predecessors and you're kind of forgetting what numbers are what or you want to choose them. That's probably a little more methodical and plotting way to go about it, but it does work well. If you have something like this where you have a lot of tasks all in a row and you want to link them sequentially, there's a neat little trick you can do. You can actually uh, select the first one, hold down the shift key and select the last one so that you've selected them all. And then under the task menu or task ribbon, there's this little link and it will link them sequentially. This is also, if I uh, click the unlink here, it's going to unlink those as well. Uh, another thing that I can do is if I uh, click on the first task that I'd like to link and I hold down the uh, control key, I can actually uh, select these tasks in an order in, in which I want to link them. And as you can see there, it linked them according to the order that I had clicked. So that's another way that you can do it if you'd like to link tasks together. I also mentioned, I believe, in a previous video that we can uh, go over to the graphical part of our Gantt chart here and I can actually drag and link these tasks together. I do tend to uh, steer away from that because it's also possible to drag the duration and change that duration as well. So uh, I tend to stay away from that because I don't want to accidentally do something like that. If you would like to do that kind of dragging, though, you think that uh, seems like a good thing to do for you, uh, rather than doing it in the Gantt chart, you can simply come over here to the network diagram. And that's a lot easier because you can't accidentally change the duration or put a date constraint or something like that. So I can just come here and I can select these sequentially. Uh, find the next one down here somewhere. There's D. So forth and so on. And when we come back to our Gantt chart, we'll see that they are, in fact, linked together.